So between this plate and this plate on the pony truck, we're going to put some bearings. Yes, these bearings. I have four of them. And they are going to go somewhere about here and here. But somehow we need to make these attached to here. And then these bearings will run against the plate on the bottom of the locomotive. We're going to start with some pins to go through here. Because either side it's just going to be a plate with a hole in. So let's make some pins that push fit into this 12 mil hole. So here we are at the fabulous drawing board. So here is the idea. We have two plates either side with a pin that runs through with the two bearings either side with a slight gap in the middle because we don't want the two bearings too close together. We want to spread out the weight as much as possible or as little as possible. Either way, the pin is going to have a flat on one edge so we can weld on a plate that will stop the pin rotating and the pin from this side will look like this. So we've got the pin head and the pin body running through a nut on the other side which will have a pin through it to stop it coming undone because the bearings are going to be push fit onto the pin so to get this all out we're going to have to use the press to push them out as we're making it push it all in so we'll make some spaces to go between the six mil plates either side so we'll make a, a spacer to go between the six mil plate and the bearing and then a spacer to go between the bearings with the pin running all the way through and the pin should look something like that Let's begin. Right, so we're going to use this 20 mil bar. We'll just face it off and then we'll uh, machine it down. nice it's uh e and a
that'll do. Right, so I'm going to put a bit of relief on there. Because uh, we're going to thread it on the end. Right, so I'm going to do it 12 mil from the end. Or thereabouts. Right, we can thread that now, we get the uh, M12 die out and we'll get that tapped. Tapped? I'm not tapping it, am I? You plank. We'll get that threaded. Beautiful. That'll do us. Beautiful. Never stay in. Nice. Right, so we've got both of them done. Finished. Well, they're not finished. We need to put a flat on, on the tops. Uh, but we'll do that in the milling machine, obviously. Now what we've got to do is we've got to uh, make the spacers for the slide on there. So that's the next job. So there we go, all the uh, space is done. So we just need to make the brackets and flatten that end off and then press the bearings on. So we'll just uh, put a flat on each one and that's then finished.
little bit more, I think. Right, we're at three mil there. So there we go, we've got it done, we've got the flat on, so we can weld the piece on when we make those to stop it rotating, we've got the three spacers, we've got a 3mm, a 12mm and another 3mm, we've got the nut on the end which once it's all together we will then pop it back in the mill, drill a hole all the way through once it's all you know tightened up We'll drill a hole all the way through, put a split pin in, that will stop that rotating. If you like what you've seen in this video and you've not already subscribed, please do click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video. What we are trying to do at the moment is have a steam engine video on a Tuesday and a random video on a Friday. So it could be anything to do with any of the machines, making bits and pieces that aren't necessarily for the steam engine, but could be of interest so we're just trying to mix it up a bit so we're calling tuesdays tinkerbell tuesdays and fridays random fridays and if you've really been interested in the steam engine build and you've not seen all the videos so far then if you click here this will take you to the beginning of this season's videos stay safe laters tinkerbell tuesdays <laughs>